Hi, it's Jackie Othen here with Real Estate Real Talk, and today we're going to talk about buyer fatigue. It's a real thing that's happening in our spring summer market right now, where buyers are getting fed up with these really low prices, and the prices of sale prices don't seem to reflect the list price or the marketing price, as we like to call it, and the final sale price. They're going out, they're seeing homes that they think that they can afford, that they think that they can buy, but really at the end of the day, the agents have these listing expectations or price expectations where things will finally sell on offer night that aren't being shared with the public. And so I've got two sides of it here, folks. Number one, it's a pricing and marketing strategy. It's an obligation of a really good buyer's agent right now for every house that you identify as one being of interest to you, a great agent will actually hone in on what that real selling price should be or give you a good idea of a range where it might go. Then the complication of how many offers come to the table, that could blow things out of the water. But you don't want to go see a house that's priced at $899 or $999 if that house is going for $12, $13, $14. I'm with you. It's a waste of your time. There's no time for that kind of education. And you really need to just zero in on homes that are within your price point, meaning where are they listed, where are they going to sell, and if where they're going to sell is where you're approved, then you're good to go out and stop, drop, and get out and see that property, first thing. The second part of it, I can see the agent's perspective because they're pricing things aggressively low to get as many buyers through the door. And if you're seller watching this, you understand it's a strategy to be able to get as many eyeballs on your listing and in through your door so the days of pain and the days that you're on the market are not 30 or 40. You want to be on the market for as little period of time, seven days, eight days, six days, sometimes five days, depending on your agent's strategy in the pandemic. You don't want to sit and languish on the market. You want to have those six, seven, eight days of pain and no on offer night that your house is sold. So I feel for you buyers, I do, but I also understand if we're working for our sellers, our job is to get the highest price possible, get as many eyeballs on those homes and in through a condo or house's door and get them the best price possible. And usually that's done by compressing the marketing period, pricing aggressively low to get them the highest and best price possible. But I feel your frustration, I feel your pain and need a great agent on your side to be able to continuously run comparables every single time you see something to be able to tell you whether it's within your budget or not. I know every agent on our team spends three to four hours a day at a minimum right now looking at comparables every single time to make sure that we're not taking clients to see stuff that they don't even qualify for or they can't get to. That's a waste of time. So I hope your agent's doing the same. If you need to reach me personally, you can. You can Post below, you can share, you can comment, you can DM us. I'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.